channel. So first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to you for being so positive in my last video. The feedback on that video was tremendous. Um, I appreciate every single commenter who left a comment down below. Positive, indifferent, ugly, mad, upset, you know, whatever you was going through in your, in your mind. So in this video, basically I'm gonna be taking you to the process of how I'm gonna get back into the gig. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to somehow transition from masks to back to the clothing that I was uh, designing pre-pandemic. When the pandemic started, uh, I was basically focusing on evening wear, you know, brides who was like going out for special occasions and stuff like that, birthdays, and people would shop for me for special items. Now, the, the little coin that I was making at the time got wiped out when the pandemic started. I was like literally panicking, like what am I going to do, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? Now, the only thing that was available at the time, since everything was being wiped out, was the mask situation. Second, also loungewear. So if you was a designer who does loungewear, you know, um, relaxed clothes for easy going, just relaxed, loose fitting clothes, basically this was your opportunity to shine, okay? Because let me tell you this, when there's a crisis, there is always money to be made, okay? And there was brides who's basically saying that even though we have this pandemic, I'm going to move forward with my wedding um, because this is about my union and I will do whatever it takes for me to take my precautions to make sure I get married to the person who I love. So now this brings me into a comment that I saw in my last video where somebody was saying that they were a shirt maker and they stopped making shirts because of the pandemic so they kind of disrupted their business and they can't even fathom to look at their fabric stash. I felt like, oh my goodness, I felt like you could have utilized this opportunity and you still can because we're still in this pandemic. And um, I felt like, okay, so I don't know what type of business, shirt business you have. I don't know if it's for bespoke or you do directly for a businessman. I don't know. But for me, looking at your comments, if it was me, I would continue my business. I know it was going to be slowing down, but I would somehow incorporate the mask to match the business shirts because businessmen are still... Um, doing business transactions. They're still traveling, they still have to go to meetings, and they still wanna be presentable and well put together. And if everything tied together, I think it will give them incentive to purchase whatever it is that you're doing. Now, I don't know um, exactly where your business is, but this is a way for you to communicate your brand or your business in a different way, so that way you can get new clientele that probably wouldn't have seen you that is looking for something like that. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce, you know, um, my pieces to um, my audience and see what they say and have like a mask to go with the piece that I created so that way they have something together so you can all tie together instead of running around looking for things to match. Let me show you the fabric that I got. When I saw this fabric, I literally like died. <laughs> Let me turn this down. Oh my gosh. This is so rich. I mean so rich. This lace, it's like a royal blue lace. Oh my goodness, it's super, super gorgeous. And I could not walk away from it. So I grabbed this. And um, I also grabbed some lining to go with it as well. So it's, uh, oh, look at this color. Oh. <gasps> so it's going to be underneath this to give, oh my gosh, to give it a pop that it needs. Do you see this? Do you see this? So what I plan to do is start off with a top. This top, I had made it a couple of years ago, is one of my favorite tops. It has these big voluminous um, sleeves. It was inspired by vintage um, Victorian era. And I wanna bring something simplified 
in All right, that. so here is the sketch of the top, very basic and straight to the point. This is a more simplified version of the puff sleeve that I showed you in the previous clip. Now, um, this is going to have a scallop edge detail at the hem of the shirt, and I'm also going to do that same scallop detail at the at the hem of the sleeve as well. So I'm going to go and use my leg of mutton sleeve to create this um, style, and it's also going to have a matching mask. Now I'm just trying to decide if I want to have a scallop edge um, mask, or I'm going to go a little bit extra with the um, elastic looping around the ears. So here are my patterns. Um, a lot of you guys had asked me in my previous videos, my past videos about like how do I keep my patterns very neat. And what I do is when they're folded like this, you know, they're all creased up. What I do is iron them. So um, I just take my iron, put on low setting. And then that way it's nice and warm but not too hot. And I just, you know, open them up and just simply iron them. So if you have like tissue pattern, you want to put it on the lowest setting so that way it doesn't um, wrinkle or burn your paper. So this is the leg of mutton sleeve. I'm going to modify it to be an elbow length because I don't want it to be a long sleeve. Um, if you want to learn how to do this mutton sleeve, I have a tutorial that will show you from a basic sleeve how to turn that basic sleeve into the sleeve of mutton. If you can somehow figure out a way to like create a mask to match the shirt and maybe businessman or someone who's looking for some, something bespoke uh, for a special event uh, could use it as a pocket square. That would be cute. You know, they can turn it into a pocket square and put it in their pocket and also have it when they need it for coverage. You're going to have scraps anyway, so what a good way to use the scraps and create a mask for your shirts. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out the lining. So this is only one layer, so it's gonna be a backdrop. This is the lining that's gonna it's gonna be underneath here, and then this is the back as well. So what I'm gonna do is connect these pieces by pieces. So this will go right here first. Okay. Okay, so basically here is the top. I did put the fronts together and lay the lace on the back, but I didn't connect it yet. I'm still debating on how I'm gonna clean the edges because I want the edge to be scalloped, but this needs to be clean, so I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna do that with the lining. So alright, so here's the shirt. Um it's almost done. Um I'm basically going to be using these. Uh, buttons to place along the front line of the shirt like this I think it will be super cute I think I'm gonna do button loops okay so I got this elastic which I'm going to be applying along the center front here so that way I can create a um, loops so I'm just gonna do like little loops like here and just stitch it down in place for the amount of buttons I'm going to be needing. So I secured my first loop in place. Um, this is what's going to start off. So when it's folded on the half an inch seam allowance, it's going to be flipped like this. And then um, here is my button. I'm going to see if I can just place it right through it and it's perfect so it can stretch and do its thing so what I'm gonna do is now for every inch I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe like three three quarters of an inch my part I'm gonna just place it like this and make sure it's even and then just stitch it straight now button loops 
there they there they are um, I opt to put it on the right hand side which is supposed to be on the left hand side but because of this um, I like the more the embroidery showed up on this side so I figured you know what I would like the buttons to be on this side but on a real actual piece I will put it on the right side which is the left side so anyway um, it's gonna stay like this because it's a sample but this is the button loops love it and now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my lining which is gonna go inside now and for the bottom part I'm going to go and create some type of finishing on the inside because I don't want the lining to show on the outside. I just want the hem of the lace to be the border. So I'm going to probably just connect it from here and then bring it up here and connect it with the back and then take it all around to do the same thing um, to the front. So this is the inside of the lining. I'm going to go ahead and insert it and then move on to the sleeve so I can finish this top. So here is the top now. I did the lining on the inside, um, which gives, I did a curve detail at the hem of the lining um, just to emphasize the lace scallop edge at the outside shell and I have to do the same thing with this too so what I'm gonna do is basically go from the armhole okay and then put my hand in here and then all I'm gonna do is just turn this inside inside out and just connect the lining from the inside the way I want it to be connected. So that way I can create that little curve edge finishing on the inside of the seam allowance. So since it's the side seam right here, I'm gonna do is just connect it like this and just sew it that way, sew it closed so that way this can be all cleaned and curved like the rest of the back, which on the outside, will make it look invisible or you see the scallop border. So I went ahead and bind my armhole for a clean finish. My top is done. I am ready to move on to the mask. So this is my mask pattern I'm going to be using to create my mask. I did a mask video where I show how to make one. Um, you can go ahead and watch that video which is linked right here. And you can go ahead and modify to your liking. So gorgeous, I love this. So gorgeous. All right, so here's my mask. I went ahead and put it all together. It is satin lined like the lining in the shirt as well um i don't know for some reason y'all think my mask is thick and heavy i don't know where i get this from but um it's not it's very lightweight to a lot of my customers surprise and they left me beautiful reviews 
on the quality and condition of the mask when they receive it. So that's all I care about. Uh, the concerns of my customers, not others who haven't tried my product. So therefore, um, this is the mask that I'm doing right now. It's going to be adjustable and I'm going to take it up a notch because I want this to be a line yard beaded uh, mask. So that way it's one of those masks where you never take it off your neck. Uh, if I'm going to be eating something at the dinner table, I do not want to sit my mask on the table. I'm going to keep it around my neck. So I'm going to add some beautiful beading at here on the end of the ties so I can finish with my mask. I'm excited! Okay, so here is the mask finally done with the bead detail. Beautiful! This is such a statement piece so I can't wait to pair it with the top for the full look. Okay, so here is the top with the matching mask all together and I absolutely love it, okay? It's a statement piece. I paired it with my blue favorite flares, jeans, and I think it's a good way to jazz up a plain outfit just to go out to dinner or if you are going somewhere special, just wear your fancy bottom of your choice to look good. I think it's amazing. You know, I heard a lot of people saying that it's not necessary, but for the lady who cares about the details, let me come closer so you can see. I think this is a perfect piece to have in your closet. Whenever you don't want to use the mask anymore, you can always put it to the side and just wear the top out. Or if you are that girl who travels and uh, gardening and things like that, I think this will be a good mask to have for always for those type of things moving forward but yeah i absolutely love the detail and it came out stunning so this will be on my website link will be down below in the description if you like this video give it a like leave your comments down below on your thoughts about this piece and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Serving it, serving looks, honey. I needed to be on the Real Housewives of New York. And I would be speaking. They would have to put a speaker on my mask, okay? Because I would never remove it. It's the whole look, honey. <laughs>